Hello everyone, it's been a long time since I've done one of these uh, but I'm back and um, this issue of Bag and Board is a little bit different to um, the ones that I've been doing previously. Um, what I'm going to do um, is actually talk a little bit about Kickstarter. Um, I know a lot of people will be aware of Kickstarter, what it is, um, everything to do with it but this is kind of aimed at people who might not have heard of it or if you have heard of it you're not really sure about what's involved. But even if you do know all about Kickstarter, stay tuned because at the end I'm going to be showing you a couple of things that I've actually picked up as rewards um, as a result of Kickstarter projects. So uh, firstly, what exactly is Kickstarter? Um, basically, it's a crowdfunding um, website. Um, and what that means is, for example, say if I, as an individual, come up with this great idea for a comic that I want to produce, but obviously I'm not employed by a big comic company. Um, I don't really have the means to be able to do anything to produce it. Um, how would I go about actually doing it? Um, one thing you could do is you could actually go to a bank and take out a bank loan, so many thousands of pounds, um, get the comic produced, print it up, and then try and sell it. And then you may find that nobody's interested, nobody buys a copy, so you're actually left uh, quite a lot of money out of pocket. So, an alternative is basically to get your funding from other people. And that's really where Kickstarter and other crowdfunding websites um, come into play. Because what happens is you uh, can actually go register on Kickstarter. Um, I'll give you the web address in the comments section below. Um, and basically, you can put a project on there. And what you would do is um, detail exactly what you're going to be producing. So in our example, it would be a comic book or a series of comic books. And you will basically um, set a target of the amount of money that you need to raise to be able to um, make this into a reality. Um, so this could vary from a couple of hundred pounds just in printing costs to several thousand pounds, several thousand dollars if you need to um, enlist the help of professionals to actually do artwork, produce uh, variant covers, that kind of thing. So really you can, you can ask for whatever amount of money you deem necessary to be able to produce this project. Obviously if you're not anybody who's well known um, then asking for a lot of money is probably going to be slightly unattainable. You've got to be actually realistic about what you're looking for. Um, so on the other side of the coin, um, if I'm somebody who's looking at somebody's project on Kickstarter, um, what's in it for me to actually give this guy or this girl money to be able to kind of fulfil their dream um, and get this actually made? What happens is um, there are incentives, rewards, um, and they will be usually be determined um, according to actually how much you pledge. So there'll be various pledge levels, um, and the beauty of this is that no matter what your financial situation is, your circumstances, you would be able to uh, effectively invest in this project because usually the minimum pledge is round about uh, a dollar or a pound going up to maybe five dollars or pounds and for this you might um, simply get a thank you from the creators um, alternatively you may get um, a digital copy of a, a PDF or um, uh, a copy of the comic that's available to download from Comixology um, and then the level of rewards may go up to several thousand dollars or pounds 
Um, if you were, for example, getting a huge amount of comic books um, in return, or you were getting uh, original pieces of artwork that go to producing um, whatever it is. Uh, I mean, Kickstarter is not just about comics, but obviously that's what I'm talking about today. Um, Kickstarter can be used for inventions. Um, I guess it's mainly for creative uh, projects, uh, anything that involves the creation of something. Um, but what you can do, like I said, I'm going to put the link uh, down below. Go check out the website because it's actually, you can either search for individual projects or you can actually uh, search on categories. And there is a dedicated uh, comic category. Um, so you can look at all the live projects that are uh, funding at the moment. And it's not just people, um, for example, like you and me, who uh, may be not involved in the comics business at all, but um, see this a way, as a way of actually fulfilling a dream that you might have had. You might be good at art or writing, and you may have come up with an idea for a comic, but how would you go about getting this produced? That would be one avenue to do it. But also, more and more, you are finding that um, people who are actually in the profession are using Kickstarter as a way of um, funding projects. For example, uh, people who are maybe working for the big comic companies, but they want to produce something independently and have complete artistic and financial control over it, um, they will be being involved. You, you can go through the list of names um, on Kickstarter of comics that are currently being um, funded at the moment um, and you will see some big names for example uh, Brian Polito who um, is the creator of Lady Death uh, amongst other characters he is currently um, trying to fund well he's actually funded it the project is still live but he has achieved his target um, for what he, he wanted to get to get this project um, off the ground um, so it's not just amateurs, it's professionals as well. Um, maybe people who've been involved in the comics industry but have become disillusioned with uh, working with the big companies, uh, that kind of thing. They will also seek funding for project ideas that they've got at the moment. Um, so that's kind of the basic um, premise of Kickstarter. Sorry about that guys, my battery's actually run out on the camera, so if uh, there was a bit of a jump there, uh, that's the reason why. Uh, but what I was saying was, um, the really great thing about Kickstarter is that you, you actually feel like an investor in these new projects. Um, and one of the other cool things about it is that, as well as getting your rewards that you actually know that you're going to be receiving as a result of pledging a certain amount of money, um, very often, in more cases than not, the, uh, the project creator will also introduce um, what are known as stretch goals. Um, so basically, um, once the target's been achieved and the comic is funded, um, money that's raised above and beyond that, um, there will be little targets set. And when these um, higher targets are reached, you'll get supplementary rewards as well. So it could be things like um, maybe extra issues uh, of a particular comic series, or you may, be, you may be getting prints, bookmarks, all sorts of different things. Just little incentives um, that mean that you're basically getting more back for your investment as, as the, um, the comic gets funded more. So it's really good in that respect. And the other good thing as well is that it's, um, it's basically a no risk thing because if the comic uh, or whatever it is on Kickstarter that's being funded does not actually achieve its funding goal, then the amount of money that you pledge um, doesn't get taken. Um, basically, the project fails, doesn't get funded and nothing happens about it. Um, and also, if the project does get funded, then your money is only taken when the, um, the actual um, expiry date of the project is. They usually last around about a month, the, the attempt to get the funding. Um, and it's only at that point that the, the money is actually taken from your account. Okay, so the main reason I wanted to do this kind of introductory video was because I've actually um, been involved in quite a lot of Kickstarters 
and I've got some really good rewards back um, for the money that I've invested in them. Uh, and these are going to be mainly um, in subsequent videos that I'm going to do. Um, but just as part of this kind of introduction, I wanted to show you just a couple of examples of the rewards that I've actually got back. Um, one of the first uh, Kickstarters that I ever helped to fund was actually by a very, very well-known name, and that's Gail Simone. And along with uh, Jim Calafiore, she was producing um, this graphic novel called Leaving Megalopolis. Um, obviously, because Gail Simone's name was attached to it, it did very, very well, re reached its funding target very quickly, and at the end of it, um, got a very, very nice hardcover book. Um, and also, one of the stretch targets was this bookmark, which is really nice. Uh, the other thing that I didn't mention was that very often, um, whatever amount of money that you actually pledge towards one of these, um, you may actually get your name credited um, within as, as another part of the thank you. Um, so in this example, here's all the people who actually um, funded this particular book, which is a really nice touch to see your own name in print. Um, and that was a postcard that I got as well. So I'll just show you um, some of the artwork from this. Uh, really, really nice. Nice quality book as well. Whoops. Produced some really nice quality paper. Nice and shiny and glossy. So there we go. That's, uh, that's one uh, Kickstarter that I actually um, helped contribute towards. And then another was um, issue one of a comic called Super, um, which you may have actually seen issues of for sale because after the Kickstarter was done, um, this actually continued and was um, sold through um, Diamond Comics. So you may have actually picked up a copy of this. Um, but the Kickstarter was for this first issue and it's quite, um, quite a thick issue as well. It was about 50 pages. Um, and again, all the people who pledged um, had their names credited uh, at the, on the inside cover there, so that's really nice. And then another was uh, issue one of Squatters. Um, this is by Ellie Maman. You may actually know um, Ellie's name because he was involved in a YouTube um, he used to produce YouTube videos um, called Talk Comics, um, which he kind of filmed at the limited edition comic shop. Um, and I think really he only stopped doing those videos when um, time constraints working on this prevented him from doing it. Um, but again, this is a really, really nice uh, comic. Sadly, the uh, Kickstarter for issue number two didn't actually achieve its funding which was a real shame, um, but that's part of the thing, you know, it, there's no guarantees in this game, so you, you may not get the funding that you want, which is, it's a bit of a shame. Anyway, so that's an example of some of the rewards that I've picked up from um, Kickstarter funding. As I mentioned, um, what I'm going to be doing in my next couple of videos is showing you some, um, some really nice rewards that I picked up. Um, including um, one Kickstarter that was um, was done by Raven Gregory, who you may know from the Xenoscope comics. Um, but like I said, that will be in uh, the next couple of videos because I don't want to make this too long. So um, if you get the chance, go on the website, have a look at some of the comics that are currently trying to raise funding and just generally have a look around and see what it's what it's all about. It's a really, really good good thing. And it's a good thing to get involved in. It's nice to have the rewards to look forward to coming through the post and knowing that you've been a part of that process. So that's it for this time, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. Uh, if you like it, thumbs up. If you've got any questions about Kickstarter, put them in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, um, I'm going to try and be a, a little bit more regular with my videos going forward. But if you're not subscribed, uh, please hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.